Hey guys, so I am so excited that I just got the new iPhone 16 Pro Max in titanium white in the one terabyte size. So I am doing a major jump. I'm going from the iPhone 14 Pro Max and going straight to the 16, which just came out. I just got it delivered yesterday and I'm excited because I did not get the 15 and I absolutely love my iPhone 14 Pro Max and I'm so excited to get an upgraded phone and just to see all of the great features that the 16 has to offer. So here we go guys, I have the iPhone 16 Pro Max in the titanium white that I mentioned and some of the color options that this phone offers is the titanium white, the desert titanium, the natural titanium, and the black titanium. So I was a little bummed when I first saw the color options because my previous phone was the purple, which is my favorite color, but the white is so beautiful straight out of the box. It has a great matte finish and it's the stainless steel design and it just feels so great it looks so great and if you want to bling out your phone with some purple or sparkles or anything like that then you know you can just get a great phone case to add to it but i love the white option and it looks really great the matte finish so great feels great in your hand and i'm really excited about it so as far as the size goes, that was a major consideration for me, seeing that I'm a graphic designer. I love to take photos and videos of my daily routine, my daily life, when I go to events and just family outings. So I have a ton of files on my phone, whether it be photo, video, or design files that I have to transfer from my computer to my phone. So I got the 512 in my old phone and that was the 512 gigabyte and I thought that that was going to be enough space and it wasn't. I maxed out of it. I had to end up deleting some files to get more room. So I opted for the one terabyte in this new phone and I know that that's going to be great to have that extra storage space so that I don't run out of room and I can have all of my files saved onto my phone. And of course you wanna back everything up. I back up things to Google Photos and transfer things over to my computer. But just on hand, bios that I have on my phone on a daily basis, I'll be able to carry and you know store so many more files with the one terabyte size. So some of the features that I'm really excited about on this new model is that it has an enhanced brightness option. So when you're using your phone outdoors or at night and you wanna have a very bright screen, this has extra brightness for you. So that's a great benefit. It also is water and dust resistant, which is great for outdoor usage or if you're taking your phone on the beach or on a rainy day, that's gonna be great for you. And then, of course, always, the iPhone always does a great upgrade when it comes to its camera. So just like the 14, it does have the triple camera system, the triple lens system for the camera. And this one has that as well. But of course, there are some major upgrades. So some of the great features that this camera has to offer is that it's going to allow for a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera as well as a 12 megapixel telephoto lens and up to five times optical zoom. And of course, it's going to be able to generate 4K videos for you. So this phone is great for all of the content creators, photographers, videographers. You can do all of that straight from your smartphone. Some other features that this phone offers is a 6.9 Super Retina display and an A18 Bionic chip. So the Bionic chip is gonna give you faster CPU and GPU capabilities and performance. So you'll be able to do a lot more on your phone a lot faster. You'll be able to do a lot more multitasking as well 
And let's not forget one of the most important things to consider with a phone is the battery life. So everyone definitely wants to make sure that their charger is fast, they can charge their phone fast, and that they always have a phone that is fully charged or not dying every five seconds. So this is gonna be great because it has a faster charging cable, which is the USB-C, and this cord comes in the box Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a charging block, so you'll have to use one of your previous ones or get a new one, so they don't give you that, but they do give you the cord, and this phone is gonna charge very quickly, and it's gonna hold a charge all day long, and if you're doing a lot of video streaming, it's going to provide for 29 hours of video play. So that is a major plus. And another thing that I'm really excited about is that it has a customizable action button on the side of the phone here. And so that button is gonna allow you to customize the action that you want. So I myself am probably going to use this for my camera because I like to be able to easily pull up my camera and my video. So this button right here will be fully customizable for the action of your choice. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get this set up. We're going to go ahead and just transfer all of the files from the old phone to the new phone. So that is really great. You don't have to worry about losing your files. It's gonna automatically transfer everything over. And I got my phone from AT&T, so they shipped it to me as soon as the phone was out. And it came with a lot of instructions that I got in the box and it gave me all of the instructions to do the transfer. It gave me a package that I will put my old phone in and ship it back for the trade. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward and I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the prompts. Once you turn the phone on, it's gonna guide you through the transfer. It'll set up everything for you from your video face recognition, to the different settings that you want for your icons and the look and feel of your phone. You can set up your Apple Pay. All of those things will happen right away when you turn it on. much for watching this review. I hope that this was helpful to give you an idea of some of the additional added features that this phone has to offer. And if you guys have already gotten this phone, if you've already started utilizing it, then go down below, put some comments, let me know how you like it. Let me know if this review was helpful and I will see you guys on the next one.